Lawmakers are in the middle of a marathon session at the state capitol, and one group of bills is turning heads on both sides of the aisle. Republicans are pushing more than a dozen election-related bills after former President Donald Trump's narrow defeat in Wisconsin. Several are focused on restricting absentee voting. New at 6, Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayadpour has you covered on the votes that did and did not end up happening. The Wisconsin Senate has five election-related bills on the calendar Wednesday. It ends up voting on three of them. Democrats slam all of the bills. If you can't beat them, cheat them. And I think that's, we, we just let's face the facts. That's, what's, we're, that's what is happening across the country right now. GOP supporters say the restrictions add clarity to the voting process. Our goal is to get consistent, equal protection, and uh, uniform approaches to our election issues. And I think that's a very admirable and appropriate role for us. The Senate passes a bill that would require people who are indefinitely confined to show voter ID to request an absentee ballot each election cycle. Currently, they only need to do that once. Two Republicans vote no, including Elections Committee Chair Kathy Bernier, but it passes 18 to 14 on a voice vote. The Senate passes a bill limiting drop boxes. It was amended to allow cities with more than 70,000 people to place up to four drop boxes instead of just one. And on a party line vote, Republicans pass a bill making it a crime for nursing home workers to influence whether a resident chooses to vote. You take a vacation from April 15th to the rest of the year, and then you bring up these charges of voter fraud based on a president of the United States, a former president, that is a fraud and is un-American. This is a bipartisan issue. Believe me, you can say for one reason or another there's skepticism, but overall, there's skepticism on both sides. As for the two other election-related bills that were on the Senate calendar today, one requiring people seeking indefinitely confined status to show a doctor's note, the other creating more paperwork, a separate absentee ballot application. Those two were sent back to committee. It is unclear what is in their future other than if they do pass, Governor Evers is almost certain to veto them, just like the three bills that did pass here today. Reporting from the state capitol, A.J. Bayapur, 27 News.